Over 3,000 species of snakes slither across the globe, according to National Geographic. Of these species, approximately 600 are venomous, with around 7% being poisonous enough to kill or injure a human. Venomous snakes, such as rattlesnakes, copperheads, water moccasins and coral snakes, can be found in the U.S., says the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. But what about the rest of the world? Snakes can be found in nearly every continent, except Antarctica, says National Geographic. So, which species packs the most venomous punch? Hello and welcome to Knowledge TV Facts. And for today's video we will study the most venomous snake in the world. But if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content, just hit that subscribe button, thank you. The snake that has superior venom is no other than the Australia's inland taipan. The inland taipan is one reptile you don't want to aggravate. It's estimated that a single bite from this Australian snake packs enough venom to kill 100 adult men. But despite being the most venomous snake on Earth, the inland taipan isn't necessarily the deadliest. According to Australia's Billabong Sanctuary, zero deaths from the species have been recorded. The inland taipan lives on the cracking clays and loams of southwestern Queensland and northeastern South Australia. Humans rarely pass through this arid environment, but when they do, the snakes don't bother them. The shy serpent spends most of its time out of the harsh sun, only coming to the surface to bask and look for food in the early morning hours. Reptile keepers who handle the snakes describe them as gentle and easy-going creatures. Like most animals, inland taipans will fight back when threatened. They warn intruders to back off by scrunching the upper halves of their bodies into an S-shape and pointing their heads at their target. If the threat doesn't leave, they will strike, either once or multiple times. An inland taipan bite can cause headache, abdominal pain, vomiting, unconsciousness, and paralysis. One component of the venom that makes it so lethal is called a hyaluronidase enzyme. This encourages the body to absorb the toxins quickly. The median lethal dose of inland taipan venom for mice is just 0.025 mg per kilogram, making it the most potent of any snake species. The inland taipan evolved to prey on small mammals, but it is dangerous to humans as well. If it doesn't receive immediate medical attention, one bite can lead to death. Though rare, attacks on people do happen. An Australian teenager was bitten by his pet inland taipan while trying to place it in its enclosure in 2017. He was taken to a hospital in time and fortunately survived, but his story is a lesson that you probably shouldn't bring the world's most venomous snake into your home, no matter how docile it seems to be. There are three kinds of taipan snake in Australia, namely, inland taipan, the coastal taipan, and the central ranges taipan. The coastal taipan with scientific name Oxyuranus scutellatus, or common taipan, is a species of highly venomous snake in the family Elapidae. Described by Wilhelm Peters in 1867, the species is native to the coastal regions of northern and eastern Australia and the island of New Guinea. The second longest venomous snake in Australia, the coastal taipan averages around 2.0 meters or 6.6 feet long, with the longest specimens reaching 2.9 meters or 9.5 feet in length. It has light olive or reddish-brown upperparts, with paler underparts. The snake is considered to be a least concerned species according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The coastal taipan is found in a wide range of habitats, from monsoon forests to open woodland, as well as human-modified habitats such as sugarcane fields. It mainly hunts and eats small mammals, and opportunistically takes bird prey. The species is oviparous. According to most toxicological studies, this species is the third most venomous land snake in the world after the inland taipan and eastern brown snake. Its venom is predominantly neurotoxic and coagulopathic. Generally feared more than any other Australian snake, the coastal taipan is considered the third most venomous terrestrial snake in the world, behind the inland taipan and eastern brown snake. It is classified as a snake of medical importance by the World Health Organization. In 1935, Local health authorities established a register of cases of injury by plants and animals in northern Queensland. By 1940, one survivor who lost his sense of smell for some months and two fatalities had been recorded from coastal taipan bites, with another three historical fatalities added in 1944. 
George Rosendale, a Gugu Yimuthur man, was bitten through his boots and thick socks while stacking wood. He became sick 15 to 30 minutes later, with tosses, nausea, and difficulty breathing, and was conveyed to Cooktown Hospital. A doctor visiting the area on holiday treated him with fluids, and tiger snake antivenom flown up from Cairns. He was flown to Cairns Hospital the next day and was discharged after 19 days. He also reported losing his sense of smell. Rosendale became a Lutheran pastor and died at age 89 in 2019. Articles about how dangerous the species was appeared more frequently in newspapers and books from the late 1930s onwards, including wild tales of it hiding in trees and dropping on victims. Australian naturalist and writer Charles Barrett reported that one had pursued a person for two hours before being killed with a brush hook. After a specimen was found in the Northern Territory in 1947, fears were raised it may occur further south in more populated areas of Queensland. McKay's snake handler Ram Chandra traveled around Queensland and northern NSW, in part funded by the sugar industry. Sugarcane growers began to have trouble finding workers due to fears around the Taipan. To counteract fears, the Queensland Cane Growers Council produced an article in 1956 to calm panic, and Eric Worrell and David Flea pointed out the snake's inherent shyness. Coastal taipans were responsible for 4% of identified snakebite victims in Australia between 2005 and 2015, though no deaths were recorded in this cohort. At least one death from this species was recorded in a coronial retrospective study of snakebites from 2000 to 2016, and two between 1981 and 1991. Bites from the coastal taipan account for most snake bites in New Guinea in the rainy season, when the snake becomes more active, particularly in southern parts of the island. Clinically, envenomation from coastal taipan bites commonly leads to neurotoxic effects, characterized by descending flaccid paralysis, tosses, diplopia, ophthalmoplegia, bulbar weakness, intercoastal weakness, and limb weakness. Severe cases require intubation. Venom-induced consumption coagulopathy is also common, characterized by clotting abnormalities and hemorrhage. Less common effects are muscle damage or myotoxicity, characterized by elevated creatine kinase and myalgia or muscle pain, acute kidney injury which can require dialysis in severe cases, and general systemic symptoms such as nausea and vomiting, diaphoresis or sweating, and abdominal pain. White cell count is commonly elevated and platelet count is often low. There is generally little local reaction at the site of the bite. The average venom yield from one milking is 120 mg, with a maximum recorded of 400 mg. In October 1979, a four-year-old boy succumbed within an hour of being bitten. The subcutaneous lethal dose or LD50 value of this species is 0.106 mg per kilogram, according to Australian Venom and Toxin Database, and 0.12 mg per kilogram, according to Engelman and Opst. The estimated lethal dose for humans is 3 mg. 46. The venom contains typoxin, which has an LD50 of 2 micrograms per kilogram, meaning 124 micrograms can kill a healthy 62 kilograms adult. Its venom contains primarily tachytoxin, a highly potent neurotoxin. A coastal taipan named Cyclone once gave 4.54 milliliters of wet venom straight out of the fangs. And last is the center ranges taipan. The Central Ranges Taipan Oxyuranus temporalis is a recently discovered species of Taipan. The new snake species was found and described in 2007 by Australian researchers, and is a large, fast and highly venomous Australian snake. The Central Ranges Taipan discovery was a complete surprise since the other two species of Taipan aren't found in that sandy desert habitat. This was the first new Taipan snake species to be discovered in 125 years. Further studies and phylogenetic analysis of its DNA sequences showed it to be the sister species of the two previously known taipans. The Central Ranges taipan differs from the other two taipan species, the inland taipan and the coastal taipan, because it lacks a temporal labial scale and has six, not seven infralabial scales. It is probable that the new species, the Central Ranges taipan is also highly venomous given its close relationship to the other two previously known taipan species. Because there are only five recorded specimens so far, with only two being kept in captivity, very little is known of its natural history, feeding and reproduction habits, or its venom.
But the species seems to be widespread, its specimens were found several hundred kilometers apart from each other. The areas in which this species was found are extremely remote and belong to aboriginal reserves, that are only accessible with special permits. Because the Central Ranges Taipan is a recently discovered species, no information is available on their feeding habits. But we can assume that it probably feeds on rodents and small mammals like their cousin species. Thank you so much guys for watching. And if you like this video, just hit that subscribe button.